Hello and welcome to another unnerded Photoshop tutorial. I'm Jake and this is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're going to be making um, a beautiful starry background and possibly a solar system with a bright sun um, smack in the middle of it as well. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, what we're going to do is just create the starry background. Okay, um, this isn't actually that hard to do. It's very simple to do. Um, so what we need to do is um, get a new um, page up. Um, call it um, solar system because that's what we're creating and have it about width 2000 height 1500 okay so we've got a simple white background here but obviously because it's um, going to be space obviously we want to fill it black so just fill the background with black so it could be um, control backspace or alt backspace um, so first things what we need to do is make a new layer and call that one stars um, fill that one with black as well and then we need to go to filter at the top then noise add noise I want to add about 400% noise I know it seems a lot at the moment but um, trust me it, <laughs> it really works um, so press uh, make sure it's uh, Gaussian and monochromatic so press OK and then go into filter again and then blur um, do Gaussian blur and then have about uh, 1% okay okay from there obviously that's not our star scene because that's a bit too busy so just press control L bring up the color levels um, in this box here we want to have 205 and in the other one we want to have about 211 and there we go that is our stars look at that it looks perfect doesn't it now if you watched the last tutorial uh, you'll know that we made um, a planet uh, looks something like this um, so simply all you need to do is just uh, click and drag it um, into your space scene. I mean, you could put it where you want. I mean, you could put it there or you could put it over there. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to leave it about here. That looks um, quite nice in the corner, tucked away. It gives you also a lot more room to play with. Obviously, you don't have to have this canvas size. You could have a bigger size if you like. Um, so then you can get more planets in it. Um, so hopefully, if you watched the last tutorial, um, you would have made plenty more planets. Um, so basically, we've got one here and we've got another one here. I uh, just quickly knock those ones up, but what we need to do is quickly um, click and drag all into um, this one. Um, don't worry about the shadow, we can just quickly fix that up now. Um, so obviously we should do what we did before, which was to get the um, get the elliptical marquee tool, make it just slightly bigger than the planet, make sure you fill that with black, deselect it, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then do it to how um, how you want it. I think I might just go for something like that for now. Obviously because we're going to um, obviously we don't want to keep the planet this big. We're going to make it a bit um, smaller otherwise it's just going to clog up the whole place. Um, if you can see just down the bottom, just around here, you can see the bit of the shadow is just going onto the other planet. There is another way to fix that, don't worry. Um, basically what you do, just click on ice and then just go to a new layer down here. Okay, then you just need to um, press shift, click um, the ice planet layer, and press control E just to merge those two together. Okay, now what you need to do is um, load up the um, planet selection. So just press control and click on the thumbnail of the planet. So you can see it loads up its selection there. Click on the layer above, which should be the shadow, and then just press control E just to merge them. Okay, as you can see, it's just um, merged together there, and you can just see it in there. Then what you need to do is press Control J, and as you can see, you can't you can't actually see any. Uh, you can delete this layer now. Once you delete it, you can see there's no shadow going outside of the planet there. Okay, so that's basically how you um, create the shadow without it spreading over the edge of the planet. Basically, um, obviously, I've put this. Um, at this angle because it's just going to be the moon for this planet so I'm just going to shrink it down by about that much so um, it's still roughly in the um, same place as the sun where it would be um, also just for added real effects what you could do is you could um, get a small elliptical marquee tool um, go on the planet layer just create a little circle um, and then just delete it so you've got a black thing there and that will look like um, 
an eclipse basically so the moon's casting a shadow on the planet uh, you could do that if you want to um, I'd rather not do that at the moment um, so basically what you need to do now is get your other planet which should be at the top here um, once again we don't want to worry about um, the shadow um, what you could do exactly the same approach as what we did earlier um, use the Gaussian blur and um, just move it to where the direction of the sun you want the sun to be so obviously because of this shadow here it's going to be around this area so if we put the planet here uh, we want the shadow to be round here instead um, so let me just make that one quickly so you can see I just quickly um, did the shadow there um, obviously you don't want the planet this size we want to make it a lot smaller um, so let's probably make it about that size oh maybe about that size should be enough I'll just put that one just down there for now um, and call that whatever you want I'm just going to call it cold planet okay or moon if you like there could be moons you know to be planets so now what we need to do is ideally we need to create the sun so what we need to do is create a new layer and we want to call that one sun like that we need to go down move it down to the bottom maybe um, just above stars okay and we need to fill that one selection with black like that okay we need to go to filter and then uh, render lens flare and you can make it however bright you want um, you can make it that you can see there that bright or you can make it quite dim I'm gonna have it about 100% I think oops not going there type it instead so 100% is what I've got um, it's not spot on um, so what I'll do is just cheat a little bit um, press control T on the cold planet and just rotate it just a little bit towards the sun okay so obviously you know we've got the solar uh, sorry the lens flare there that looks um, like a sun so what we need to do now is put the stars back in um, that's very easy what we need to do is just go to um, make sure you selected sun go to the blend mode up here and make sure it's on screen and there you go okay uh, there's one more thing to do I mean you can leave it like that if you want to um, but just um, for the purpose of this just make a new layer um, just call it um, just call it flare okay so what we need to do is make sure you've got your paintbrush selected you need to have it about 80 and you need to have opacity about 50% as well okay so what you need to do is just simply you can click anywhere you want um, click about that much press control T hold down shift and elongate it okay that's obviously a bit too long so we'll just make it a little bit smaller Oops. make sure it's on it and there you go a realistic looking sun and realistic looking solar system there so hopefully you'll be able to make plenty more for the future to come um, stay tuned for our next YouTube video and I'll see you soon see you later